Okay, let's talk about the blood vessels. Let us see what we're going to learn from this topic. So, blood vessels are vast networks of small tubes that carry blood throughout your body. So like water pipes that carry water to different places, we can say that blood vessels function is the same with this one. So taking all the blood vessels out and line them out outside end to end will measure about 96,600 kilometers estimated. So I want you to find your pulse in your wrist or in your neck. Then I want you to try to press and observe how the blood flows through your veins. Now, after doing so, let's see what are the different types of blood vessels. First, we need to determine what arteries are. So arteries are blood vessels that carry oxygen-rich blood away from the heart. It lifts the right side of the heart. And... As you can see in the picture showing um, showing where the artery is, remember it is the one that receives oxygenated blood and bring it away or bring it the blood away from the heart. What else? So they have, when it comes to their layers, they have thick elastic middle layer wall too withstand the high pressure of blood as it surges from the heart with each beat. They need to be strong enough to. They are located deeper in our body. An aorta is considered to be the largest artery while arteriors are the smallest. They are or arterioles are connected to the smallest blood vessels, we call it the capillaries. And capillaries are located within the tissues and organs of the body. Arteries carry bright red blood, and the color of the blood comes from the oxygen with the protein called hemoglobin. Showing you the different diameter of the venule, arterial, and the capillary. Next, blood vessel is the vein. Vein is thin walled and floppy blood vessel. It carries oxygen poor blood back to the heart, and the blood contains now carbon dioxide. So, within the veins, the blood loses most of its pressure after passing through microscopic capillaries. Here, showing you the largest vein, which is known as the vena cava. And the smallest vein is called the venule. Look at the venule, look at the vein, the sizes of them. The same with the artery and arterial. In the middle, they are connected by the capillaries. So veins are located in our body tissues. It can be seen. While capillaries are smallest blood vessels, they are very thin, like what you see in the picture. The blood cells pass through them in a single file. Connection between or it connects the arteries and the veins. Like what I said, when blood pass through them, oxygen, food, nutrients, and waste passed in and out of the walls. So the red blood cells move through capillary, hemoglobin releases oxygen, oxygen and food diffuse to the capillary wall and enter the cells. Waste will be back to capillary and carry it. So, hope you learned something from the topic, short topic about the blood vessel. Thank you very much. See you again next time.